Hey everyone, welcome back to Unsolicited Bourbon Reviews, episode 99. Yes, 99. We've done almost 100 of these. Um, so we are one away from our final goal. Um, but don't worry, it won't be the last one once we hit uh, 100. But in terms of accomplishing what we set out to almost 15 months ago, um, we are inches away from the finish line. Um, so today I figured we would do our final, I keep saying it's our last first time Friday on a Friday or first time Friday on a Tuesday. First time Friday on a Friday with some peerless double oaked. Um, <clears throat> so we kind of had a, a you know a production manager come across some good uh, you know stuff that's pretty allocated here where I live where it's pretty um, you know pretty difficult to get. Um, it was just sitting readily on a shelf at Total Wine. So we're finally able to get those bottles up here, and I'm really excited to finally go ahead and knock out um, this this double oak tonight. So really what I wanted to compare it to, we've done some really great double oak products. So we've done um, Woodford Double Oaked, Old Forester 1910. We've done Sagamore Rye Double Oaked, and we've done a Starlight or Hubert's Double, like Store Pick Double Oaked. And I think we might've done one more, but I can't quite remember. So Double Oak, they're, I I like those. I lean more into those. I, they're, they're definitely on the sweeter side, a um, little bit, Especially neat, it's very smooth stuff. Um, you know, they're pretty consistent across the board. So, what I wanted to do is, you know, for today, for a first time Friday, when when trying this Peerless Double Oaked, is you know really compare it to kind of like, well, I'd say like two other staple products or two bourbons for that matter that are double oaked. And again, we have a Woodford Double Oaked, which I said was a top five, you know, bourbons you have should have on hand and I still stand pretty firmly on that. And then the Old Forester 1910, which which I don't have, I actually just crushed that bottle um, a couple nights ago. Um, but that's an, like another great one in terms of it's a, it's a twice barrel or double oaked. And you know, I really w would like to see, um, you know, how this Peerless holds up to, to those two. Um, so, um, you know, just for time's sake, we couldn't do uh, which one Wednesday on a Friday, uh, which is just too many and we're just trying to get uh, through this one for today. But also boil it down to, we also have a Remus, um, which uh, D. Gruen gave us a really nice write up on uh, his thoughts on Remus. And, you know, for the sake of it, I, I had to decide which one I wanted to do for the last couple. I decided to go with the peer list, but um, you know, maybe some bonus content. We'll do the, the Remus and we can compare um, compare notes what, what D. Gruen came up with with his experience with the Remus 6. So um, we'll go ahead and jump right into this. So again, this is a double oaked. Um, minimum of four years for Peerless. Peerless are out of Louisville, Kentucky. Um, they have a bunch of different expressions amongst their lines. They have a regular whiskey, they have a bourbon, they have a rye, and then this double oaked is actually really sought after. Usually you can only get it at the distillery, but if you find it on the shelf, um, it's pretty... Um, you know, at least around here, it's it's pretty rare just to see this like chilling on a, on the shelf. That's why, um, you know, I was really excited when D. Gruen uh, found this at Total Wine. But um, this is going to be a barrel proof, uh, one hundred eight point four. Um, again, don't know too much about Peerless. I know they're kind of one of those craft distilleries that are very similar to to Barrel. Um, we talk a lot about Barrel, um, higher end stuff in terms of price point, and you know they do a lot of good stuff within the line. And I've actually never had another Peerless product to re to compare this to, so I knew that you know the Double Oaked is a really one, and the bottle's really cool too, um, really really high end stuff, um, really nice really nice top. It's like solid wood, and there's some really cool design, kind of the shape of the bottle. So um, enough about that. So this is we'll go ahead and sniff it, talk about it, taste it, and uh, we'll give it a final score. So nose, so this, so first time Friday on a Friday, the rules are this sits up for about 10 minutes. And this thing just looks, it's got some legs on it, real thick. Um, so it's definitely not gonna be coming off thin. I do get a little bit of chocolate. Um, I mean, the oak is just like, kind of blows your face off a little bit. So if you don't like oak, I can tell you here now, like you're probably gonna hate this, but if you like the oak taste, um, you know, I think this, you know, we haven't tasted it yet, but this I think this definitely be um, right up your alley. So, get some oak, I get some caramel, I get a little bit of marshmallow in the front, but I don't really get any kind of like fruit or anything like that. Uh, I kind of get more of your traditional bourbon um, profile or flavor on that. And we'll go ahead and give it a sip.
Okay. Um, for 108, I think it drinks like 108, maybe a little less, not too much bite on it. I definitely don't get the ethanol, but I'm telling you that just like straight oak, dude. Like it's an oak bomb. They really push the limit on this. And, you know, I actually like the taste. I, you know, it's a really unique profile. Um, so I don't mind it. Um, but if you're, again, if you're not into it, you're going to hate this. Um, I get caramel, vanilla. Uh, I do get a little marshmallow on there. Good finish. Finish is pretty decent. Um, but we'll go ahead and get to the price point. Price point, this shit is expensive. I think it's around like the 95 to $100 mark. Um, so I have to nail it with like a six. I don't think this is a $100 bottle of booze. Um, taste, I give it a 7.5. We'll meet in the middle. I think this is a very solid seven. But I think Old Forester, I mean, that's an Old Forester, but uh, Woodford Double Oaked uh, is still king. Um, so I appreciate it, guys. We'll talk soon.